Android Studio provides many things that let you enhance your workflow as a developer, from clever shortcuts to great live templates and also some smart plugins. Salam alaikum, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you seven plugins I use every day to boost my productivity when working and coding in Android Studio. To install plugins in Android Studio, go to the settings here and go to the plugins. Here in the marketplace, you can search for many plugins. There is new updated, you can show them all. You can also sort it by relevance or download exactly by rating, for example, and see the trading plugins. Or also you can see here the installed plugins, for example, you can delete them, you can swap them. For example, I can delete this one, go here, install it, and you are ready to go. This is how you can install. Starting with the first one, which is Robo Pojo Generator. Pojo simply means plain old Java object. I use this plugin a lot when working with RetroFit because I need to transform JSON files into Kotlin or Java files or Java classes. All right. This plugin gives you a lot of configuration you can use. So let's go to Android Studio. Here I'm having a simple project. I will just try. Let's say I go here. I have this person JSON. Okay. And I want to transform it into a Kotlin class. You can do this simply by copying this and go to the package you want here. Let's say I want to put it in the models, for example, let's create a package for this models like that. And here I will put new and generate Pojo from JSON. Here you can paste it. This is the first one. Then you can use the language. I use Kotlin in this example. I can name it. As you can see, I can name it person. I can name this class anything I want. Now, I want to use it with a single data class because sometimes when you have JSON nested in another JSON object, you have to separate it into separate class or use only a simple data class. Then you will choose the framework. I work with Google JSON framework, this one. Then when I'm ready, I put gender. Then it will create here in the models, a class called person. It has first name, last name, email, and age. You can change this variable names here. The necessary thing is here in the serialization name. And this is it, how you can work with this RoboPojo generator. The second plugin we have here is the K prompter X. This plugin will help you learn the essential shortcuts you need to know in Android Studio. So I use it a lot. You can go here, for example, and let's say I want to access this one. I can press control and click. And as you can see, it will prompt me something. Command go to declaration missed. You can use control with B. You can use control with B. And also if this action doesn't have any shortcut, you can create shortcut here directly in that K prompt. All right. So you can see the statistics here also in the K prompter. For example, I can see that control B is the most missed one. I missed it this time and I used it this time. I can see also the second one is shift F10. I always run my application through this button. I must use shortcut and many other things. You can snooze notification and you can reset statistic. This is an awesome plugin for anyone who wants to learn how to use shortcuts. My third favorite plugin is this string manipulation. This plugin allows you to do many things and manipulation to your string, from case switching, sorting, filtering, aligning columns, escaping, and many more. Let's try some manipulation. First, you can select the thing you want to rename. For example, I want to rename this composable functions. Click and go to string manipulation. And here you can see, for example, I can do switch case, I can do escape, I can do decode, I can do swap word. For example, I can name it screen main, click on it and it will rename it to screen main. This is a great manipulation I use often. Let's do some string manipulation here. For example, on this function, this is a composable function. I will try to rename it. The first thing you can do, for example, is to swap words. For example, I want to name it screen main, not main screen. Click on it and it will go to screen main. That's the first. Second thing you can do always is, let's see, you can do switch cases. For example, I want it to camera case and it will go to screen main. For example, there is many options you can choose here. For example, switch case, there are many things. That's the first one. You can align things. Let me show you how you can align things. For example, let's say I have this person, the JSON file, and I want to align everything to this, to this two dots. For example, let me select this places like that. What I can do now is to click like that, string manipulation, align, and go to align carrots. That way you align things based on the carrot. Okay. You can do many options with that. You can do many things, increment, decrement, shuffle things. You can align, swap words, swap selection, quotes or unquote. For example, I want this to be quoted. Well, I can do this and quote it like that, but I can choose this one, 
string manipulation and go code and it will go for you. You can also swap this into single code. For example, let's say here to string manipulation and go to swap wrap shift between this and this and it will convert it directly. You don't need to perform any keyboard things. What I can do also is simply sort these lines. I can go here, string manipulation, sort, and I can go sort lines. You will tell me how to do the sort. You, can, you have many options. I will put okay. The A should be at the top first, I and L. Well, we have problems here. We have to fix those by hand, but this is a great stuff. I mean, the options are endless when working with string manipulation. I invite you to see this plugin, work on it, try different things and see how it works. If you take one plugin from this video, take this plugin, it will help you a lot. The next plugin we have here is Dummy Text Generator. I use this plugin a lot when testing, for example, for testing views and text and see how my text will appear. I use Dummy Text, for example, Lorem Epsom Text. Here, this plugin will help you a lot. Go to Android Studio. I have installed this plugin. For example, I want to change this Hola Mi Amigo. For example, I can delete it and go to the tools. And here in the generic dummy text, you have many things. I will use fake lightning, for example. And here you go. You can have a string to work with. There are also many options here. You can choose, for example, science fiction. For example, some science fiction text. And also some, I don't know, pirate lingo, for example. I don't know. I, it doesn't matter to me. At least I have a text I can work with. Okay, this plugin is good. The next plugin we have here is Randomness, which is similar somehow to Dummy Text Generate. I use this plugin a lot, but it helps you generate some random integers and decimals and also some random unique identifiers. All right, so you can use it as following. You can find it here in the randomness in the tool Randomness here, but I use my shortcut. I use for it Control and 6. Control and number six, for example, here, I want to introduce a random text, for example, I can use control six and see there is random integers, decimal string, for example, I want random string, or I can use a random word. It will be a real word, for example, and, or let me see something else, which is a word here, but it will make these codes. So you must delete the codes before adding it. For example, there is random unique identifiers here. For example, you will get this one, which is unique. And also you can have integers and even you can have, while well, clicking here, you can have random integers array, repeated integers. For example, I can choose this array and it will work perfectly. You can even customize it. Let's say here, you can go to the integers and see integer settings. You can customize the minimum value, the maximum value, the base, for example, you can change it to base of two binary or you can choose here for byte or hex. You can use some prefix, suffix and see which result you will get. All right, so this is a great plugin if you want to generate some random numbers, string, words, unique identifiers, and much more. The next plugin we have here is Kotlin Fill Class, which is a simple plugin that will help you fill a constructor of a Kotlin class. For example, let's go here, and if you can see here in the text, there is many things you can fill it with. Okay, there is modifier, the color, the font size, and many more. If you want to get all the parameters laid down here, you can click Alt Enter, for example, and Fill Function and it will fill everything. It fills the function and also the constructor of classes. And here it will give default value. For example, if it finds it, it is Boolean, it will give you false or, or true. If it finds it is an integer, it will give you a zero. For example, here it will find it is a lambda, it will give you a default or empty lambda. But here in the modifier, it won't know how to fill it. So it will let it empty like that. And for others, it will put just simple null. We can try it also on the class person we have here, for example. Let's create, let me delete that first. And let's create person class. You can create person like that. And if you want to fill it, click like that and choose fill class construction. It will give you default value for this string, for this string, for this Boolean, and for this integer. This is a great push to start filling your class parameters. This is a great plugin, I use it every time. And finally, we need to include ADB IDEA, which is a great plugin also. This plugin allows you to do ADB commands directly from Android Studio. For example, let's go here and let's say I'm having my emulator right now. For example, I have this emulator. I can do many things with this emulator directly from here. Go to the tools, go to the ADB idea and you have all these things. You can, for example, install your current application. You can clear the app data. Previously, I was doing this manually. I go to the setting, my app, clear things and go. You can revoke permissions, you can grant permissions, you can kill the app and many more. This is a great plugin when you test your application in an emulator or even in a physical device. 
So make sure to include this plugin into your plugin list. All right, I really advise it. So this is it for this video. With these plugins, you can write features quickly and gain crucial time while maintaining your code quality. Please make sure to subscribe and leave a like for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end and have a happy coding day. Salam alaikum.